Hello everybody, welcome to another weekly reading vlog. I'm currently reading uh, The Positronic Man by Isaac Asimov and Robert Silverberg. Very good, lots of thought-provoking stuff in here about the nature of robots and what makes a person a person. You can be an artificial person, but you're still a person. Whereas, you know, a robot isn't a human, but is it an artificial person? Wow. And what does that entail? So some really good questions in this. Uh, there will be a full review coming soon. It's Monday the 8th of June 2020. I will turn 21 on the 11th on Thursday. So this is my birthday week vlog. Biggie's just come in as well. How many bigs? Come on. Come on, Biggie boy. Up your pop. Come and say hello. Come on. Hello. Hello, Mr. Man. Hello, are you going to say hello to the internet? Yes. Yes. Oh, I love you. I will love you. I love you lots. It's a bit close, Biggie. You're a bit close to the camera, aren't you? Got no no sense of frame in that boy. He gets it from his dad. Uh, so yeah, I'm currently cracking on with this. Biggie's trying to be eat, be eat, trying to be eat the. Biggie's been eating the tabs, haven't you, Biggie? Oh, I uh, got a birthday card in the post today, which I haven't opened. Yeah, but I think it's from my dad, and I ordered myself some vegan pick a mix as well. And uh, I'm just finishing off my uh, radio show edits. So yeah, I've got haul to film today. And my review of this to at least start. I'm on bigs. Oh, and wrap up. We've got to do some wrap up as well. Hello, it's Tuesday the 9th. Um, my internet has been a crock of shit all day. Uh, I have been able to get some work done, uh, which is the good news. But the bad news is it's not the work that has the most immediate deadlines, which I need the internet to be able to do. So that has been a bit of a pain, I'm not going to lie. But um, I guess at least I've been making some progress. My radio show goes out tonight. This is one with Claire Sherman as a guest, who is a local presenter on Wickham Sound. I finished reading uh, The P Positronic Man. I think I've been giving that the wrong name all the way through. Anyway, I finished reading The Positronic Man by Isaac Asimov and Robert Silverberg. It was very good. Uh, lots of moral questions and stuff in it. Full review coming soon. I gave it like a 4.5 out of 5, I would say. And now I'm reading A Million Little Pieces by James Frey, uh, which was a birthday gift for me. It's a drug book, and I'm really enjoying it so far. It's written in like a style in which it doesn't use... Ah, oh, I lost my page, but it was 53. Uh, it's written in a style in which it doesn't use uh, speech marks or anything like that, um, which could be off-putting to some people, but... I don't know, it, it, it works quite well for me to be honest, it's quite easy to read. So there is all of that. Um, I had an Asda shop come today, this is the remnants of it, I spent 250 quid. Some other stuff over there, oh I got up too quickly. I've um, been having really bad death anxiety and this is another great example right now. Just very dizzy and then I just suddenly think like, oh my god, I'm dying. Or at the very least it's like, oh my god, one day I'm going to die. And it's horrible. But it won't stop. He's still the army my father built. Well trained and well provisioned. 10,000 men at least. They will see us coming. So, uh, thrones. It's raining outside. So I've got the window open slightly. Because Biggie's asleep, so I can. Right, it is Wednesday, June the 10th. My last day of being 30. I've had some things come in the post, including a few gifts and cards, so that's exciting. And I've made plans tomorrow, I'm going to go and see my friend Dave. We're going to go have a jam in his garden. So I'll take my new electric over and introduce him to that. Um, might not let him play it though, because I guess <laughs> the strings can uh, obviously condu conduct the disease, can't they? But um, yeah. So, gonna do that. I might go see Jordana as well for a few drinks somewhere. I don't know, it's probably gonna rain, is the only problem. But um, for a few Jaeger bombs. And uh, yeah, that's about it, I think, in terms of plans for tomorrow. I've got some vegan cakes as well. I've just made some like chi Well, Well, the recipe is called Chinese pancakes, but they're basically tortilla wraps with like mushrooms, Chinese mushrooms in, and some spring onion and cucumber and stuff, and um, hoisin sauce. Very delicious. Because, uh, I don't know, my mental health still isn't 100% at the moment, so, um, so yeah, I mean, the world's shit in it, so. <laughs> but, um, so, yeah, I, I wanted to cook something nice that would, you know, cheer me up, I suppose. Um, I'm s currently reading uh, A Million Little Pieces by James Frey. I'm about 200 pages in. It's a drug book, and I like drug books. 
so I'm enjoying it. Uh, it's on course like 4.25 out of 5. Although strangely, I don't have much to actually say about it. It's just a competently written memoir, you know? Some of the most interesting stuff is actually in the way it's presented and um, written and the way like dialogue's formatted and stuff. So yeah, uh, that's where I'm at and I'm currently, I think I'm back up to 36 currently reading now because uh, I've got some stuff in the post which I'm going to haul. I won a, a bid on uh, four Isaac Asimov books. So this was like £5.20 including delivery or something. Um, and I already have one, Earth is Room Enough. Uh, which I've been, I've had listed for 5 49 but I'm going to drop it to 4 99 now because I have two of them. So why not? Um, yeah. I think that's it. I think that's it. Might do a bit of music. I don't know. I feel weird. And I'm on uh, season 7, episode 3 of Thrones. We are on season 7, episode 4. And there is a cat. Vicky, what are you doing? You're going to sit on my keyboard. It's a good job I took off the, the button that shuts my computer down, isn't it? Excuse me. Now you're... What are you doing? What are you doing, Biggie? You made it ping. Disallowed, Biggie. <laughs> disallowed. It says you're disallowed. Watch out. Okay. You can sit on that. He likes this stool because he knows he can dig in. Can't you, Biggs? Do you want me to move this? If I move this, you can go inside, look. Can't you? Look. There you go. Pillows are gone. You can go inside now if you'd like. Yes. So yeah, that's my footstool. Isn't it big? He does fit in. His little head comes through down here, doesn't it? Oh, hello. Clegane! He's, he's like, no, fucking fire, mate. You know I don't like fire. I, I hate fire. Because me dickhead brother. All right, I am hungover watching Game of Thrones, series eight, episode three. Yesterday was my birthday. So I, I did a birthday drunk, which is why I'm now very hungover. <clears throat> I'm still, <coughs> ah. <clears throat> ah, sorry about that. I'm still reading A Million Little Pieces by James Frey. It's very good. Uh, oh, I got some new books as well, uh, some birthday presents. I'm very excited about those. And I'll talk to you about those at my hall, uh, including Romeo et Juliet, uh, Romeo and Juliet in French. So that's good. Uh, what day is it? It's Friday. Uh, as you can see, I'm not doing particularly well. <laughs> I haven't got dressed yet either, so I'll do that soon. Oh, I've been growing my chilies though. I got a little, I, I actually treated myself to this. The habanero red chili peppers kit. So over there, I can't bother to show you, but they're in some plant pots. I'll show you once they start to grow and stuff. So I've got these to make some little things on them. And here we go, habanero red seeds. And they gave me some free seeds, some midnight bullet chilies. Very cool. So they say they're better than supermarket. So they say they're better than supermarket seeds, um, and they can't guarantee that they'll sprout, but they're more likely to. I'll probably do two or three in a pot. I guess if they grow too big and start choking each other out, I can always separate them. So yeah. Uh, well, oh yeah. So for my, so for my birthday, I went to my friend Dave's house and uh, we did some socially distanced jamming in his shed. And there may be some footage of that. Um, I haven't investigated what's on my camera yet, so we will see, but that should be fun. And I think now I'm gonna go and do my ukulele, fam. I'm gonna do my ukulele, go build it. Hello, it is Dane here, and today I have something very exciting. Um, I've got a build your own ukulele kit. So today I'm gonna build my own ukulele. Oh, hello, we have the echo. Um, okay, so one thing to bear in mind. What is that? What is, what's even in there? A small piece of wood is in there that should not. In fact, I could tell what's in there. It's, uh, <laughs> it's one of the petals that's been cut out here. Now, what I will say, there are various bits and bobs to this. I need to use some glue. Um, but I also, I have this, which is um, a pickup. So I need to try and saw a hole into the body to put this pickup in. So we're gonna do that first, because then I need to spray the body. All right, so you can't really see, but I've marked in there, that's where the pickup's gonna go. So now I just need to, I guess I'm gonna just use these scissors. I don't think it's gonna be too. All right, we're cooking on charcoal. So I've managed to make this hole, 
and uh, yeah, so this needs to go a little bit flatter. I'll probably glue this down, and then the wire comes out of it, and that is my input socket, and then that's going to sit on like the bottom or wherever um, my strap goes, basically. So now that that's done, I can take this back out. So that leaves us with something like this. So I'm now gonna go and spray this mother with, with a bright green. I also have the neck as well. I'm gonna spray the body first, and if I have enough left over, I might also spray the neck, we'll see. In fact, I probably shouldn't spray the neck because I've got to glue the fretboard on, and I don't know what would happen if I glued onto paint. But I don't think I've got enough to spray the neck anyway, so. <laughs> So we painted the body and the neck is being varnished. And I need to move that. All right, I've done the other side now. So I just got to wait for it to dry. One thing I will say is I have no instructions. No instructions came with this. So I've got this. What have we got in here? So some of this needs gluing in. So that there. A bridge for our strings, our top nut. That thing is going to attach the neck. A screw. Actually, shouldn't take too long to assemble. I think. Um, so I'll give it like another hour or so or whatever for the for the paint and the varnish to dry. And then we'll get the gorilla glue out, and I don't know where it is. So that'll be interesting. <laughs> I got to find it first. Well, earlier I was listening to Steve Harvey. He's got a YouTube channel where he makes music. It's pretty cool. And now I'm listening to Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. Uh, and I've been working on my radio show. So I've just interviewed J.B. Hilliard, who is the next guest. I only got like... i got like two and a half hours left of Brave New World. So I'll probably finish it this evening, to be honest. Um, I finished reading A Million Little Pieces by James Frey. It was quite good, but it basically needed to be 100 pages shorter. Um, I don't know, maybe like a four out of five. Uh, but I am glad I read it, so that was good. And now I'm currently reading Life After Dane by Edward Lorne. And I started reading Romeo et Juliet by William Shakespeare as a bedtime book as well. Um, so that's really good. The translation of it's quite good. So I've been really enjoying reading that too. And uh, next to my main book, I'm going to read Kenneth Thomas, Van West, The Past. It's a book I was sent, getting paid to do a review of it. So that's pretty cool. So that's where we're at. And I probably won't live stream this evening. I don't know. I still haven't decided, but I don't think I will. But I might make some music. I just won't live stream. Yeah, all right. We're currently watching PewDiePie. And Biggie is being Biggie. And over here, I'm just making um, toasted these. It's actually not turned out too well. I don't think I am going to keep this. I'll keep one toasted, see how it goes. Nah, look at that. Those crumble. Okay, so we've learned we don't toast these. They just... Yeah. Which we don't want, because it's going to be difficult to eat them. So we're going to keep... We're not going to use those. I'll use these ones that are a little bit... Yeah. Uh, and here we have... What are they? These are Heck Veg With Edge Vegan Breakfast Sausages. 
So I'm just browning those off. Put some onions and mushrooms in there. And then I've got this stuff, this is amazing. The Applewood Vegan uh, Smoked Cheese. And I've got some chilli. I'm going to spread the bread with hummus. And uh, yeah, it's going to be good. And I'll also have vegan chocolate cake for dessert. 7.28am. Basically, basically, Christy told me that uh, we got a match. How's, how's my hair looking? I am watching Cold Case Files classic. Um, and then I guess I'll re-watch Cold Case Files. I don't... I don't have anything really on my watch list. I have Dreamcatcher by Stephen King is on Netflix, but I haven't read the book yet, so I need to read that soon. Uh, it is currently Tuesday. I didn't really do... Well, for like 36 hours, I've just been working like mad. Oh my God. And I finally almost got it down a little bit. Um, basically, I'm going to be starting to do some work at the art centre as well. Um, and so I just need to reshuffle around some of my, my priorities and stuff. But also, like, it's much lower paid. Like, it's it's literally a quarter of what I would charge a client, basically. And so I'm looking at doing 10 hours a week maximum. But they mentioned maybe going up to 20. And I'm like, I, I can't really go up to 20. So I'm going to have to be quite strict on that and say, like, 10 is my limit, really. Um, because otherwise, 20, I'm working part-time there. And I could make enough money to live off, but only just. And I wouldn't make enough money to, um, um, like... I wouldn't be making money to put away basically which is currently my goal it's kind of changed a bit over the coronavirus thing so i'm currently hoping to put some money away until next year and then hopefully go to stay in france well i was thinking about trying to go there like this christmasy time but now i'd probably be looking to go there maybe next summer which would be nice which also gives me more time to practice my french too which i'm gonna need um but yes, yeah, so I've just been super busy working because I need to work on other stuff and get it out of the way so that then I can focus on working on art centre stuff, you know what I mean? Um, but it's a different kind of work as well, so that's quite nice. And like a lot of it will literally be like helping around and cleaning and tidying and doing spot checks and stuff. I finished reading A Million Little Pieces by James Frey, which I think I told you about. I also finished Life After Dane by Edward Lorne, which was very good, which I think I told you about uh, Edward Lorne being E here on Booktube. And then I read Van West The Past by Kenneth Thomas. This is a book that I basically got paid to do a review. I got sent a copy of the book for free and they give they just give me an hour, I pay him for an hour of my time. Um, but I only took it because I thought the book sounded interesting and it was pretty good. Uh, I particularly like the concept of this because it's Van West The Past. So this book is the first one in what I assume will be a trilogy of past, present and future. So it's like sci-fi, but it's also got, because it's got time travel in it, it was also like historical fiction. Um, and a lot of the action was in Paris, which was cool. It was like, basically a big plot point of it was the formation of CERN, um, which I've always been fascinated by. Um, there were some, a couple of formatting issues and like, he has this habit of writing a sentence where I would say that like he'll split a sentence into two where really it needs to be just one sentence because he'll be like so and so put on his shoes and looked for an umbrella full stop though it wasn't raining outside full stop and for me it's like th those should be the same sentence you know um but overall it was pretty good i mean it was again it was quite ya another thing was that like there was this insult in it it'd be like roach in hell or you roach tard and I, I don't know, I, I thought that was a little bit cringy. But um, I did like a lot of the ideas. I thought for an indie YA novel, it was pretty good. I gave it like a 3.75 out of 5. So that brings me on to what I'm currently reading, which is Nightfall 2 by Asimov, um, Isaac Asimov, which is very exciting. Um, I've won some bids on eBay, so I think I've got, I've got nine F. Scott Fitzgerald books coming, I think. 62 Ladybird books. 12 Agatha Christie's, I think. Um, well, obviously, I'm not going to read all of these. Like, a lot of the Agatha Christie's will be rereads, so I'm just reselling them for, hopefully, a profit. Um, but, yes. So, that's all going to keep me very busy. And I'm feeling a little bit sad as well. Um, I think mainly just because I'm so stressed. I've got my radio sh show things to do, so I did an interview for that earlier. Didn't go too well, really, because the guy was super tired, so he wants to reschedule and do it again, which is more of my time disappearing. Um, and then, tomorrow, I'm on Claire's show... I've got a meeting at the art centre. Oh no, and I thought I was interviewing somebody at six, but I'm not. So yeah, I've just got a meeting at the art centre. And then 
an interview with the radio tomorrow. So actually that's not too bad. I might still manage to get some work done. Oh, so yeah, what with all that, I haven't really had much time to book you either, which is why I haven't been doing the vloggy bits and bobs, but uh, I'm back now. So yeah, there's that. But that brings us to the end of another weekly reading vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.